As Israel continues to strike Gaza Strip from the sky, Palestinians in occupied West Bank are suffering from tensions and are reporting increased attacks on them by both settlers and soldiers. According to human rights activist Samir Abu Shams, the Israeli army violates many international laws, especially the Geneva Conventions, which emphasize that civilians should not be harmed in situations of war and armed conflict. What we see today is occupation forces entering civilian areas without any justification, creating friction and targeting civilians with weapons, said the 60-year-old from Tulkarim. Most of the cases of Israeli fire were directed at Palestinian civilians passing on the street or going to businesses. On one hand, Abu Shams said, Israeli occupation isolated Gaza Strip from West Bank. At the same time, he takes revenge on civilians in the occupied West Bank, takes measures to arm settlers, and orders to open fire on men, women and children. He said, Israeli army opened fire on Palestinian civilian vehicles on Friday. Karim al Jalid was driving from Tulkarim's vegetable market to his home in the southern part of the city at around 2020. It was on street near Gishari, a Jewish settlement that connects the west of Tulkarim to south. Israeli soldiers opened fire on his car, and al Jalid continued driving, thinking it was a stun grenade but he was shot three times with live bullets in the chest, hand and shoulder. There were five bullets in front of Karim's car. His cousin Allah al Jalid told Al Jazeera. Karim continued driving on road until reached the Al Safir intersection, from where he was transported by ambulance to local hospital, said. Karim's brother Amar said that he would undergo a second surgery. Last night, doctors removed the bullet that hit his shoulder and settled in his neck. Amar said, according to doctors, the second bullet caused fractures and tears in the tendons. Ahmed Zarin of the Palestinian Red Crescent Society in Tulkarim told Al Jazeera that Israeli soldiers opened fire on four civilian vehicles in the same area on Friday, killing one Palestinian and wounding seven others. A second 16-year-old Palestinian was shot on Friday and from his injuries the next day. We went there with our ambulance and saw that a white Hyundai car had been shot at. Zarin said, all four passengers were injured and all are in serious condition. His team transported three of wounded, and when they returned to pick up fourth Palestinian, Israeli army targeted medics and ambulance. We quickly continued our work and at the same time received a report of gunfire at another car. About 30 meters away from us, Zarin said. After identifying him, we found no casualties. Only an empty car in the middle of the street with no one inside. They found Karim at intersection and after transporting him to the hospital, they received a call that two other Palestinians had also been shot and injured while driving past settlement.